CataractCoach.com. Dense brunettes and whitish cataract. Excellent technique for this challenging cataract case. That is a pretty dense cataract. Our operating guest here is Dr. Joseph Haney from Egypt and does a beautiful job on this case. I have sped up the video to three times normal speed because we want to get the salient points across in just five minutes, right? So staying in the capsule tripen blue dye already, getting this rexus done. Be careful. Some of these cases that can have an intumescent cataract or pressurized capsule bag, luckily not in this case. Also, make sure you get a large rexus, at least five millimeters. That looks perfect. Beautiful job there. Now, when you do the hydrodissection, slow and steady. Really be careful because you can't see the fluid wave go across. This cataract is so opaque that it's really hard to view that. So just a little bit of time and then see like, here you go. Beautiful rotation. I'll take it. So good rotation there. A little bit more viscoelastic going inside the eye. And let's see the technique here. Always fun to watch this. I'm watching for the first time with you. We're watching it together. All righty. Fake a pro going inside the eye, cleaning up some anterior cortex. And let's see what our technique's going to be. A groove down the middle. I like it. Now, that's a nice, good idea here because it's going to debulk that dense central endonucleus. And let's see the chopper going inside here, splitting it. So that looks great. Maybe a stop and chop technique. And now bringing up, uh, looks like a little bit of an irregular split there, but that's okay. Bring up the pieces here. And so pieces come up pretty easily. There you go. So it is a stop and chop technique. Very nice chopping here. There's one quadrant coming out. And Iris is uh, staying at bay. Lucky there's no floppy Iris issues here. Eye is in primary. That looks good. And that first piece of nucleus comes out. Now, you may have to use increased phaco energy in a case like this. So you want to keep an eye on that. So it's a good, hey, another nice chop there. Very nice technique there. On a case like this, if you start to creep up and have too much phaco energy, it's okay to come out of the eye and recoat the endothelium with more dispersive viscoelastic just to protect it a little bit more. Also, depending on how much fluid you run through the eye. But this is a really nice technique here. I liked it. Very nicely done. But a quarter of the nucleus is all that remains here in the capsule bag. Now be careful with this last piece. Keep that chopper in the safe position as the smallest piece comes up. Some surgeons like this like to remove the second image from the eye. Why is that? Well, it prevents egress of fluid out of the parenthesis incision. So that's helpful. Oh, right, a recoat. I like it. Great job, doctor. So some people like to take the, the second instrument out of the eye when the last piece comes up because you're eliminating the egress of fluid from that, so you may have a better fluidic balance. I like to place the chopper there in the safe position. Either one works fine. But I do like that technique of extra viscoelastic that protects the cornea, but also notice he injects some to push the capsule bag back to give a little more working room. So nicely done here. And let's get that eye back in primary. The rest of the nucleus comes out. And you can see there's not a whole lot of cortex remaining in this eye. And that is actually very good fluidic balance. So very nice balance there. Let's center up the microscope a little bit and get, thank you. And now clean up some cortex, really not a whole lot remaining. But there's something just really satisfying. Doing a cataract surgery like this on someone with such a severe cataract where the preoperative visual acuity is probably hand motion. This is such an amazing procedure. You can give the patient fantastic, normal vision in a surgery that takes you just a few minutes. It really is a, a modern miracle of medicine. So cleaning up the cortex here. Again, this is a case where I'd clean it up very thoroughly, but I wouldn't go too bananas about polishing the capsule bag, only because it's just not going to make a big difference here. And you really want to make sure that this patient has a beautiful result in post-op day one. I want to do as little risk as possible. Certainly here, sitting superiorly, get that superior cortex, because if you don't leave, if you leave any of that, that'll swell up overnight and fall on the patient's visual axis. So a little bit more cleanup there. And now let's uh, get the lens in. So a oh, little bit more cleaning up here. Or is that... Uh, Yep, irrigating with the right and aspirating here with the left. So a little bit more cleaning up in that superior place. Hey, look at that big piece of cortex. Smart move, doctor. You found that piece. I couldn't even see it so well on the video. So I, I, I applaud you for that one. Now let's fill up the capsule bag with our viscoelastic. Let's get the lens in. You could also do hydro implantation here because you already have the bimanual IA set up. So slightly enlarging the incision here. Let's see what the lens is. Going in the capsule bag looks like a single piece acrylic lens. Get that dialed in. Hey, beautiful case. So thank you for setting your video. I know it was three times normal speed, so it was kind of fast, but I do want to show you a lot of the case and I want to show it to you unedited. So 
doing it at high speed allows us to, uh, to show you all that. You can adjust this YouTube video to change this playback speed. So if you want to slow it down a little bit, you can certainly do that in that settings button down there on the bottom. Thanks for watching.